Sal. Sal. Wake up. The car stopped moving, Vato. Wake up. Huh? What? The car stopped moving. We're still in the trunk. I was dreaming. I was at home in bed. <laughs> Despacito, cabrones. My trigger finger's itchier than a puta scratch. <laughs> Shema, get me the shovels. What the fuck is this, dog? <laughs> Start walking. What your chenta, cabron? You don't have a choice. Cabron, wait there. Dig. Dig? Fuck you. I ain't gonna dig. Shut the fuck up, carajo, and dig. Okay, pendejos, put up the shovel. Despacito. Come on. So which one of you pendejos wants it first? Hey, carnal, we're only supposed to mal amigo them first. Tommy said so. Pinche cobadre. Shut your mouth, mula. Hey, I'll be sure to pay your wife a visit whenever she gets a niche. I'm gonna kill you, culero. That's a promise. <laughs> Sally, you the one that's gonna die tonight. That's your phone, Sam. I'm busy. That's the phone Tommy gave you. Don't piss off Tommy. Hey, Padron. Is everything going? Si, sí, seguro que si. Sí. Okay. See, Patron. Soy yo, Salvador. ¿Cómo estás? Aquí no más. Qué jodida. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Saben qué pinche cagada me han causado? Padrón, no era yo que le di malas sueños al marrano. Compa Kiki nomás trató de pararme. Patrón, era imposible. ¿Qué podía hacer? Él se volvió loco. Pinche marrano, hijo de puta. Yo no tengo interés en él. Hablo del chavalo que ustedes chingaron. Yo lo hice sin pensar. De todos modos, ustedes chingaron a alguien de la otra onda. Uno de la clica de René. ¿El René? El René Ruling es cagada. Tengo mucho orgullo por ti, carnal. Sí, yo te respeto también. Esta cagada con el René no me mortifica mucho. But you were only supposed to deal with el perico. Hay veces la vida puede ser peor que la muerte. Mi pobre animalito. You have to be punished. Comprende que te va a cuidar Sanchui. Adiós. Déjame hablar con Sammy. 
Bueno. Hey, what'd he say? He said for us to pray to St. Chewy. Gacho. Seguro que sí, patrón. Yeah. Okay. He'll be taken care of. Hasta luego. Chema. Hey. Cover them up. Why me? Because I'm the guy with a gun. The guy with a gun oh. says it. The guy without the gun does it. Don't worry, carajo. I'll keep your woman warm and safe until you get home. You're vulnerable too, Joto. Until I'm dead, you're very vulnerable. You want to make this up to me? Did Ophelia cheat on you? That's none of your business. You made it my fucking business! I'm stuck in a fucking hole with you! When I was doing the bid, there was this brother dick deep in the alphabet. Poor fucker was looking at Buck Rogers time. Nothing to lose, right? He ain't going nowhere. Neither are we. We ain't going anywhere. Well, one day these dudes with chivs clicked him and they tore the shit out of his chest. But the con never fell, Vato. He had a lot of heart. Pura cora that day. Everybody who witnessed that shit automatically respected him after that. Well, he was strong, Vato, until he fell in love. He was in love with his celly getting a code 21 every night and other intimate attention. His celly was an ugly gump too, Vato. But like they say, love is blind, right? So the gump was the one serving the alphabet? Nah, the gump was a pillow biter. Aren't you listening to me? I'm neck deep in hell next to you. I have no fucking choice. Well, the dude doing all the time lost his pillow biter to ad seg. The ugly bitch got involved in a chow hall rustle and they hauled their ass off to the hole. Well, the dude doing the all day... Give him a name, dog. I'm getting confused. Life or Larry. Larry's the dude doing the all day? Right. Well, Life or Larry didn't like the way the pigs were handling his pole smoker as they escorted her off to a quiet cell. So Larry gets all shivers and attacks the guards, but he's swinging left and right and throwing haymakers at every guard that gets in his face, man. I like him already. Well, he and his bitch got mile-high lumps that morning from the pigs. But the sissy couldn't do the quiet time started to freak out. Eventually the gump offed himself. Chewed his own fucking wrist, man. Little faggot chewed his own wrist? Yeah, bled to death all sorry ass style. Well, life for Larry got all emotional when he heard the love of his life no longer existed and he went 5150. And he offed himself too. But he was more traditional, he hung himself. He killed himself for a pillow biting maricon? Yeah, it was like Romeo and Juliet, only in prison threads. You see, before he met the pillow biter, Lifer Larry never got all emotional sitting in his cell, thinking about the fact that he was never going to be free again, or see the ocean, or hug his mama. But he fell in love, and nothing mattered but those feelings that he had for his prison girl. True story. Okay, true story. Where's the fucking punchline? What was that all about? Is that it? It means love makes you do senseless things. When you got no one to love, it's like being in prison. He was finally aware of what was missing in life. That's the moral, hermano. Keep your weird ass stories to yourself, you paranoid motherfucker. All your fucking stories end up with people killing themselves.